And this is Redbeard, and in this adventure I review the Cherahela Skyway. Alright, is that, is that red, button, red light on? Alright, we're recording. So there were three of us on this ride, uh, and I had plans to record the audio from all three of us. But I think I learned a little bit about the Senna. The Senna uh, appears to want to have the group ride selected, and uh, the three of us were all just paired to one Senna device at this point in the ride. So audio is not really there. So I have uh, over an hour of video from this. Um, most of it is all beautiful. But there's no conversation going on because uh, it just didn't record. So sorry for that. If you're interested in watching all hour plus of this video, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Chirahala Skyway is a great road. The views are amazing. The curves are good too, uh, but if you want to get spirited, uh, here, let this be a warning to you. It's the first. What's the speed limit? Oh, speed limit's 40. The speed limit's 40. We're doing 60. Very nice of him. Nothing. That looks like some more fuzz. Hey, fuzz. We're, we're behaving now, anyway. The Jarahala Skyway starts just east of Teleco Plains. Uh, there's a covered bridge there. And I really love covered bridges. So I wanted to go over it, but I found out it's a private covered bridge. Oh. Look at that nice. You wanna do that? Nope, nope. Within walking distance of this covered bridge is a Harley Davidson store. Now, why would a gold wing rider go to a Harley Davidson store? Well, in my group, uh, my dad and one of my uncles, they both ride Harleys and they love to go to the different stores and find the different Harley shirts and all the different paraphernalia you might need as a Harley Davidson rider. So my other uncle and I, we, uh, we humor them and we go to the store. So my other uncle, he, he does enjoy getting some of the Harley Davidson uh, gear. Uh, I don't partake of such things. It looks closed. Yeah, there's some lights on, but I don't know. Maybe they're open. Y'all want to find out? So it's definitely not technical like the Dragon is. Uh, you do have time to look at the views that you have. Uh, you don't have to uh, pay such attention to the road. If you wanted to slow down a bit in the curves, you can look around a little bit more. Uh, but if you want to get spirited, it's it's good for that too. Just just be careful. Oop, there's an overlook with a whole bunch of bikes parked up here. Yep, I see the overlook. All right, I'm done. I found the curves of the Chirahela Skyway to be quite fun. A lot of them are lower speed for the, the speed of the Skyway. I think the speed limit there was 40, 45 for the duration of it. But you do have some 25 mile an hour curves. Uh, so it, they're enjoyable. Uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway, from what limited experience I've had with that, through fog, um, it was more of a laid back ride just there for the view where the Chirahela Skyway has both. It has some good curves, so it's a good road and amazing views. No, because we'll realize how dark it is and how curvy it is. <laughs> ah, they are nice curves. The speed is still 40 though. Ah. Oh, well, it's fine enough at 40. So the days of our trip was uh, September 27th through the 29th. So yeah, there at the end of September, uh, the weather was great. It was still warm in uh, most of the southeast, around the 90s and so. We get up in the Cherahala Skyway, especially over 5,000 feet. And it was quite cool, about 70 degrees, so very pleasant, great for riding. And just to let you know, uh, the next week when I went up in a road to Blue Ridge Parkway, the weather was completely different. It was cold, it was rainy, it was foggy. Uh, so just be careful, especially in the fall, uh, when you go and how the weather is going to be. 
you'd like to see the difference in weather for the one we can bring, check out my Blue Ridge Parkway video. And the goal wing! I interrupt your regularly scheduled show to bring you information on the Cherahala Skyway. The elevation ranges from 900 feet around the Teleco River up to over 5,400 feet at the Tennessee North Carolina state line. The Skyway is over 40 miles long and took over a hundred million dollars to make. The planning began in 1958 and it opened in 1996. If you'd like to know more about the Cherahala Skyway, comment below and I'll make a video on what I learned. Now, back to the review. If you, if you'd like to ride or you'd like to drive a car, this is a great road for sightseeing. You can see the foliage was starting to change when we went to, in the September. I've seen some other uh, pictures since then. Beautiful foliage this time of year. Until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.